If you've seen any of these shows or movies, you've probably said, wow, that character's literally me. And why? I mean, it's not like you're organising fights underneath a bar at night or investigating cult-like murders whilst also dealing with the severe emotional trauma of losing your daughter when she was three years old. But you can see parallels with these characters. The majority of them are lonely, even if they have people around. They feel like they have to deal with things in solitude. And it's not like they want it to be that way, but life has just put them in that position. And that's why people relate to these characters. They feel like they can't manage to dissolve themselves into society. There's too many social and material expectations that you have to comply with to be able to fit in. And even if you don't feel like this right now, you've probably felt like this at some point of your life, but you've just learned to put on a mask every day, so much that the mask is a part of you now. Not only that, all these characters are dealing with some sort of trauma. Ross Cole's daughter died in a car accident when she was just three, and Tyler Durden's dad was never there for him. Yeah, why? Who'd you fight? Fuck my dad. We all have to carry the baggage of trauma. Though whether you think yours is worse than others, it doesn't really matter. Because at the end of the day, it's all subjective. Similar scenarios can have different outcomes. Someone's family member dying can be absolutely devastating for them. And to someone else, it can just be nature taking its due course. All of us have our days numbered, no matter how rich or happy we are. And bad things are certain to happen to you. No one leaves this earth unscathed. And that's why we idolise these characters, because even though they've been through so much, they still keep going, they still chase that moment of freedom or accomplishment. And that's why we relate to them, because we're dealing with things and we still get up every day and keep striving. We don't just give up and let our experiences break us. We admire these characters because they end up achieving amazing feats. What the Joker and Tyler Durden did wasn't necessarily positive, but what they did Shine a light on society's hypocrisies. They're only as good as the world allows them to be. I'll show you. When the chips are down, these, uh, these civilized people, they'll eat each other. And even though your goal might not be to set up organizations that try to dismantle the pillars of society through active terrorism, they can still provide you with the inspiration that, no matter how hard it gets, or how down and out you think you are, you can still accomplish whatever you set your mind on. Now, the dark part about these literally me characters is that in almost all cases, they end up self-destructing. As much as you think you can relate to these characters, they almost always have certain factors that push them over the edge. And the majority of these films don't have a happy ending. Russ Cole solved the case, almost dying in the process. But that didn't bring his daughter back to life. Or did it fix his relationship to his ex-wife? The Joker caused all that mayhem to expose society, but even though he made people lose trust in society, after a while, Gotham went straight back to how it was before. Joe did all that investigating to try and find some meaning or purpose, just to find out he wasn't special at all. These characters are special to us, because we see fragments of ourselves in them, but be careful how much you let these characters influence the way you live your life.